What's up, everybody? Jesse Burdick here. 2017 Slingshot booth at the Arnold Classic with the one, the only, possibly the GOAT of powerlifting, certainly of female powerlifting, and in my opinion, one of the best powerlifters alive right now, Jennifer Thompson. Say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody! So, how'd you do yesterday? Everything good? You feeling good? You're walking around feeling good? Yes, everything went good. I broke the world record bench press on my second attempt. Which was? 314 and a half. And whose bench press was that? Mine. And before that, whose was it? Mine. And before that, whose was it? Uh, that was mine. Okay, and before that, whose was that? I'm pretty sure it was mine. All right, so you're pretty good at bench pressing. Yeah. So you benched 314 on your second. Yep. What was your third? Um, I gave 319 a go yeah. and just missed it. Just missed yeah. it. Yeah. So just to give a little bit of reference, you weigh a whole how many pounds? Uh, I weighed in at 134. That, okay, so 134. We benched 314 and just missed a 319. Yes. It's a pretty good day. It was a really good day. Yes, yeah. I would say so. I was happy with it. Yeah, good, because we're overly impressed by it. That's amazing. Um, what is uh, after today? What are you training for? What's next? We have IPF Worlds coming up. That's right. We have IPF World Classic Bench Press in Colleen, Texas. That's that's it, nothing screams world competition oh to God. me like Colleen, Texas. That. It is so amazing. You can go to Chuck E. Cheese. You can go to Olive Garden. Whoa. They're all right down the street. That's all down there. Yes. All on one street. All on one street. Do you have more than one street down there? No, I think it's just one. How many uh, stoplights would you assume? I think two. 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 The nothing screams worlds like a small town in Texas, right? Exactly. <laughs> it's where so, all the people around the world oh. are so excited to come in and yeah, go. They want to come there. There's probably a direct flight from everywhere, right? Right. If you fly to Austin and then to Colleen. Right. Yes. Right. It's right there. It's really close. Uh, so after that, we had, do we go, and, is it the next world competition? So bench press and then the team event comes up? Yeah. The world classic powerlifting is in Minsk, Belarus. Now that's a little cooler. It is pretty cool. I'm yeah. excited to go I there. bet they don't have an Olive Garden over there, though. Um, probably, not, probably not, I'm guessing, but they have Uber. Okay, they, they do. Have, yeah, cool. I checked it out. They've That's got good. Uber. That's good. Um, so what else do you have going on? Any of the gym, you and your husband are doing some coaching. You have a lot of athletes as well. Did you have people competing today or yesterday in the uh, USAPL events? Yeah, well, our gym is sort of um, a farce. <laughs> Well, it's, it's in your house, right? It's in my house, and it's just all my neighbors working. Is it? Is it your living room? Uh, no, it's down. It's my. Okay. It's our walk-in basement. Okay. Yeah, next to the garage. Okay. So, um, it's not really like a commercial gym. Or no, 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 no. We didn't. We know that. Okay. So we had uh, Big Jeff Snyder lifting. He tried 804 over there, shirted, got called on a technicality. So he's a little upset about yeah, it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Um, other than that, um, I think that's all we had lifting this week. Well, you had a couple of people on the big stage here at the Arnold Classic. For a small gym, that's pretty good. Yeah, not bad. North not Car we're Carolina strong. Yes. <laughs> um, can you help us out? Tell us a little bit about the coaching and kind of the training that you do personally. Uh, there's not necessarily a lot out there. You know, are you just kind of a general progressive overload? You know, how are you working? What does kind of a general week of uh, training look like for you? Um, I'm probably a real different style lifter. I coach very differently. We lift very heavy a lot all okay. the time. Okay. Really hard intensity and we just sort of work up to heavy weights with percentages. We don't like cycle. We don't try to peak. We just try to keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And as far as coaching goes, my husband coaches me, but we've started these female weekend um, training camps. Iron, sister, Iron Sisterhood? Iron Sisters USA. And you can find that on where? IronSistersUSA.com. And you're doing seminars. When's your next one? Um, actually kind of out by you. Yes. We're going to Barbell Brigade yep. and Juggernaut. Yes. And I myself will be at Super Training Gym. So excited. Wow. Yeah. So that's going to be really great. And uh, we've got them all over the United States. So that's kind of taking off. We got a lot of beginner, novice lifters. We have uh, Kimberly Walford, who's the best. Who? Kimberly Walford. She just deadlifted 576. 576? 576 over there. And then uh, Philnika Law, she just benched uh, 425 over there, I think. And so, um, and then she's, she's the squatter. She, yes. she did 606. Yes. So um, we have each of the events covered. Absolutely. And then we have Frances Manias from Canada, and she's like our, she's our glue. glue. She makes everyone feel awesome <laughs> and great and like the sisterhood. There we so go. it's a lot of fun. Well, that's really cool. Now, how many of those seminars have you done so far? 
Um, well, we always do one in Canada, outside Toronto, so we do that in July, and then we just did our first one in Midland University in Nebraska. Okay. And that is the only university in the United States that gets full ride powerlifting scholarships to their school. Say that one more time, pimp that out, because I think that's amazing, and I think not a lot of people know or have heard about that. Well, it's, a, it's just started this year. Tim Anderson is the head coach. He's also a big bench presser world champion. Yeah. And it is the only university to get full ride scholarships for powerlifting and to be on that team you get all your equipment paid for entry fees um, travel everything for powerlifting that's, that's so cool. huge that's so all cool. other universities are club sports right. this is a fully funded sport and it's a beautiful university yeah. you do have to go to Nebraska though. <laughs> and we were in January Ooh. and it was ass freezing yeah, cold. no kidding that's amazing so, so um, tell the people where they can find you. Tell us, tell us anything else that's going on um, past your competitions, you know, social media handles. Where can we find you so we can keep track of your amazing lifts? Oh. Um, I have a couple YouTube sites. I got 132 pounds of power. I just kind of feature my stuff. And then I have a bench press series 101 to 501. Okay. And then I also have a Thompson's Gym which is more our funny actics, antics and kind of <laughs> craziness. It's a little R-rated, okay, sure. um, but I have that. And then I have a website, 132 Pounds of Power, um, just part of the powerlifting university that Lane Norton's right, in right. and a bunch of other big um, powerlifters, which would be cool. It's free yeah. for the um, when you sign oh, up nice. right away, yeah. And then um, social media is Jen Thompson 132. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Honestly, this is one of the cooler interviews I've given. I'm a huge fan of yours, and I cannot wait to see you up at Super Training, and I can't wait to see what you do next. So tell us one more time, what you benched today? Uh, 314 and a half. Not bad. Thank you so much, Jen.